Hey guys, Bad Infos here and to welcome to an unboxing, showcase, review and setup guide video for the Logitech Brio 4K webcam. Let's go! The Logitech Brio is the new era of streaming, the future of video recording, the best of the best on the market. Or so they say. Whenever somebody talks about this camera, this is all I hear, only praise. This is not what you're gonna hear here. I have some issues with this camera and I disagree with, the, with most of the other reviewers who reviewed this camera. Sure, it's a great camera, but it has many issues and I'll highlight them in this video. If you want, of course, you can skip to the timestamp on the screen to the part which most interests you. So, let's go! This is how the box looks like. I bought this camera about a month ago, so I already used it. And I put it together just for this video to show you how it looks like basically. So if things are not exactly correct for you, exactly how I'm showing it to you, this is why I put it all together just to show you guys how it looks like. So it comes like this. This is the webcam itself. This is the box. You can take it off from here and this is the camera itself. It goes in this. Okay? This is the camera. It comes with a little stand which you can use. I do use it from time to time. But you can also put it on a tripod. The way to do that is to take this off. Taking this off is one of the biggest issues I have with this camera. Taking it off is a nightmare and you may actually break it if you do. I did this like 3-4 times and it was a huge issue. The problem is this. Do you guys see it? This little notch? It goes in super weirdly in this hole. This is a mounting stand. On a tripod this works perfectly well. It uh, screws. It does not screw here. This keep it in, keeps it in place. It's off. Well, this is the first issue I have with the camera. So this is the camera. Pretty small. Let me give you a closer look. There we go. Let's see how it looks like. What else do we get here? We get a few other things. Underneath this, if we take it off, like so, we can find a few cables. This is the cable which goes into the webcam and into the PC or laptop, whatever you use. This uh, goes on the camera itself. If you don't want anybody to watch you, if you're not using it, just put it on the camera and it is hidden. This is just for that. Do this. And you are hidden. Good stuff. So this is the cable. It's a pretty long cable actually. Let me give you a closer look. Pretty long cable which is what I like seeing. Many manufacturers don't provide such huge cables but this is long. A very very long. Yeah. It comes with a Type-C, which goes inside the camera and also a USB, which goes into your computer. Yeah. But we have also some documentation and it's empty. This is all you get, nothing else, which is all you need, of course. So first of all, we have the setup guide, pretty simple stuff. You can put it to in your laptop or mount it somewhere. Yep, nothing else here. We have this, which nobody's gonna ever read, but it's in different languages. Just a huge sheet of paper. Yep, nothing interesting here. I think it's upside down. It is, of course. Yep, nothing interesting here. And this gives you an offer for X split. The difference between the stream edition and the non-stream edition, this is the stream edition, is that they provide you with an X-Split code for 12 months. Yeah, which I may use, I may not use, I shall see, but this is what you get. So this guys is for the unboxing, let's move on to the showcase. And welcome to the showcase part of the video in which I'm going to show you a few different things about the camera, what you can expect when you get it. 
So this is how the camera looks like. It is very small and a, a lot better looking than what you had previously with the previous versions of the Logitech cameras. I think this is the best looking one. Absolutely gorgeous. You get this as well, which you can put on the camera itself. And lastly, you get this mounting spot, mounting gadget, which you can put on your table, you can put on a tripod, you can put on your laptop, on your monitor on the top. Just make sure that the bezels on the monitor are pretty long. My monitor does not have pretty much any bezels, so if I put this on top of my monitor, it covers up the screen, which is something I do not like. This little notch can go inside the camera or you can mount it on a tripod to screw it in or you can just press it downwards on the mounting thing. Like I said before, this is very finicky, it is very hard to put on. Once you put it on though, it is very sturdy, it is not gonna fall off. No way, Jose. Just getting it off is a, a difficult task. And this is how it looks like. Yep, again, you can put it on your monitor, on your laptop, on the table. I usually put it on the table like this, not sure if you can see it, but this is how I keep it on the table because once again, my monitor does not have bezels. It has bezels, of course, but they're not too big, so this would cover up my screen. The Type-C cable goes on the back in this little hole. Of course, it goes both ways because it's a Type-C cable. And this goes into your PC. Once again, this is a very long cable, so you do have lots of lean way with this camera. You can put it almost at the other part of the room. This is the Logitech software which comes with the camera and it is the most useless garbage I have ever used. If you want to use something to record yourself, whether it's gameplay plus a webcam or just your webcam, then just use OBS or XSplit. Don't bother with this crap. First of all, the files it creates are not recognized by Vegas, my main editing program. Some players do recognize them, but when they do, often there will be be skipped frames. The footage is in worse quality, at least of course from the little testing I managed to do. Unfortunately, it's the only way you can set the field of view. We have three options, each one looking vastly different. We have a few filters, which at least for me are not useful, except the second one. We have some zoom in and out features, which you can use in OBS instead. Unlocking 4K is done in the program as well. 4K does look a little a bit nicer, but I feel like the 1080p 60fps is a much better choice than 4k 30fps. But that's your choice of course. The audio is also garbage, which I expected from a webcam, but it's important to note as well. As a comparison, this is how I usually sound when my microphone is on my boom arm. It's nice and clear, you can't hear any background noise. And this is the Logitech Brio, much, much, much worse. You can hear background noise, I'm talking in the same distance of it as I was from my microphone. You can clearly see this is not a good microphone and I don't suggest it, but chances are, if you're gonna stream with this camera, you probably already have a good microphone already, so you're probably not gonna use this one. All right, let's move on. And welcome to the setup part of the video in which I'm going to show you how to set up your camera and give you some thoughts about the camera itself. So first of all, I'm a tech nerd, I can admit that. I have made multiple videos on many different types of gadgets, on high-end software and hardware. The, for the hardware I have never had any issues with any one of these piece of hardware. However, what I have had issues is with this. Thing. Okay, so let me show you something. First of all, I have 9 different slots on the back of my motherboard on my PC, my main computer, and 2 in the front. Out of these, 7 are taken by a keyboard, a mouse, headphones, 2 controller adapters for the Xbox One controller and 1 for the Steam controller, 1 cable which makes the wireless controller to a non-wireless one, turns it into a non-wireless one when it doesn't have batteries, and of course the microphone, which leaves me with 5 slots. Out of these 5 slots, only 2 recognize the Brio, and work semi-flawlessly. Semi-flawlessly. Okay, 
So if I plug it in, any one of these remaining ones which don't work, which don't recognize it, it just doesn't work. It, it doesn't recognize the camera. There is no difference between one slot, one free slot, and the other free slot. The ones which do recognize it are pretty good. I have streamed for hours, I have recorded videos, I have recorded vlogs, but sometimes, all of a sudden, if I'm streaming for like 30 minutes, for instance, all of a sudden, freeze. The camera freezes, no explanation whatsoever. I have no idea how it happens, but it sometimes happens. Sometimes it doesn't recognize the camera, and overall, so, so, so many issues. Setting it up perfectly took weeks. I got it a month ago, it took me like maybe two weeks to set it up in a way that it doesn't make issues and it still gives me issues, sometimes it still freezes. And no, it's not because of these USB slots, they are not broken, none of them are broken or anything, I have moved stuff around, I have used it actually on my laptop, on my laptop I have no issues whatsoever, it never freezes, it always recognizes it. Just warning you guys if you want to purchase this you're gonna have lots of headaches and this is not only me talking i have seen other reviewers that have this issue oh and something else do you see what i have here this is a webcam from hama from like 10 years ago pretty sure and i think it's like 480p or maybe 600p and this works absolutely flawlessly on my main pc the same pc which gives me lots of issues with this camera the Brio. So it's not my PC, I also tested it on my friend's PC, it works pretty well. It looks awful of course because it's 10 years old, but it works. This does not work very well. In closing, do I recommend this webcam? I admit guys, I was very critical and very harsh in this video, but it's for a good reason. I wanna warn you before you purchase this product. It, it has a huge learning curve. This takes a huge amount of time to set up properly, but once you do, I think you're gonna have a good time with the webcam. It took a very long time to set up, but I think it is a good purchase because it has proper 60fps, it is true 60fps, it has 4K capabilities, it looks gorgeous as well in a dark room, in a bright room, it has some customization options which are also good. Overall, I think it's a good purchase if you overcome the hurdle, which is the setting it up part. So, I think it's a good purchase and I do recommend this webcam. So guys, this was it for this video, I hope it helped you out, if you did, then leave a like in the video if you found it useful. This purchase was possible thanks to my lovely Patreon supporters, which currently are Vladas, Soup Smile, House the Chowder, Alex Chavez, Max Robinson and everyone else listed on the screen. Thank you so much for the support.